2020, an accused baby killer, an accused cop killer, and an accused serial rapist. Those are among the cases scheduled to be tried right here in Bear County in the first 60 days of the new year. Our Paul Venema has a preview of these cases, and here's a clip of that story. Nurse Janine Jones, who has already served a life sentence for killing an infant in the 80s, is set for trial in another baby death case. The trial of Anton Harris, accused of being the medical center rapist, is also set for trial this month. And the DA is seeking the death penalty for Otis McCain. His trial is also on the docket, and that's just January. In February, Christopher Davila will go on trial in the King Baby J case. When we do have cases that stack up, it does present somewhat of a problem. And Paul Venema joins us in studio now to tell us more about the cases and what we can expect. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, guys. You're going right. to be busy in the next. It's going to be a busy, <laughs> yeah. busy year at the outset for sure. So is yeah. there a single reason that we're approaching what appears to be kind of a perfect storm in the local courts? That's a good description. But uh, one reason, I think probably the main reason is we have a new D.A., and that changes the whole landscape in terms of how trials are scheduled, cases are handled, and so forth. So the, uh, the previous DA had, had these cases, uh, several of these cases, ready to go or ready to go, various stages of, of going to, uh, to trial with them. But all of a sudden, the, uh, the whole landscape in terms of personnel changes. And so they've got to actually start from, from the beginning. And so that, I think, probably is the reason. Some of these cases are a little bit old, the Marconi case a little bit old. But that's the reason is we have a change in administration and that therefore a change of, of, of personnel. And that changes the whole, the whole picture. Are there, what are the chances of any of these being resolved with a plea agreement before they even go into trial? That's always an option. Whenever, whenever you've got a case ready to go to trial, and that could be, you can plead a case out right until, the, right down to the, to the last minute. It, uh, and often you'll find that's the case with, with, uh, with these cases. It'll, it'll be like a chess match, if you will. They're, the, the defendant's waiting to see what, if anything, the DA's office is willing to, to give, and the DA's office will take a look at their case and say, maybe we would be better off uh, with with the plea deal so but in, in any event uh, that that's on the board on, uh, on the table right uh, until the beginning of a trial and actually we they can can decide in midway in the trial they decide they want to plead this ca case out they can do that you mentioned Otis McCain in your story is one of the high profile mm -hmm. cases that's upcoming right. Paul um, death penalty cases like that they they require that the lawyers if you will be super qualified why is that well because, obviously, because there's a lot at stake. It's, it's, a, it's a death penalty case, and it's either uh, life in prison without the possibility of parole or execution. And in this case, they're seeking the death penalty. So uh, the death penalty, because there's so much at stake primarily. So there's, there's really no law, per se, that says you have to be uh, meet this, this, and this. Uh, if you're going to represent a client in a death penalty case, if if uh, uh, the, you're hiring the, the attorney, however, if it's a court-appointed attorney in a death penalty case, uh, they have to meet certain qualifications. They have to have tried a case as a, as second chair before they can be elevated to first chair to try that case. But if if a, if a defendant uh, is going to hire their own attorney in a capital murder case in a death penalty case, they can hire anybody they want to. They can hire a uh, whoever they like. It could be some lawyer who's not real qu well qualified, but still that's the person they want to try the case, and that's where, where they'll go with it. You listed a lot of these really big cases mm -hmm. coming up. You know, you're the one that follows all of them. What case do you think is going to be the biggest one, the one that everyone's going to be really looking at? You know what? The case, it's not a death penalty case. The case that has uh, garnered the most public attention, I think, is the Baby King J case, mm -hmm. and that's coming up in February. And that's, the, that uh, is not even a murder case. It's, it's uh, they, the DA's office is, has charged it as injury to a child, and uh, they, the, uh, that case is a, 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 third, a 3G offense, which means the uh, punishment range on that is the same as, as were a murder case. But that, uh, that's generated so much publicity because, of the, because it involves the child and, and where the, uh, all, all the really disturbing facts of that case. Yeah, the community got really involved. It in was, it was. And there's still a lot of interest in that. It can be a busy first half of the year, Paul. It will be, it will be. And, and presumably, if we go to trial all these cases, certainly. And we'll just have to wait and see. You Count rest on. up, Paul. That's right. <laughs> okay. Count on coverage right here in KSAT. Paul, right. thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh,